Now going to the fall season, the Celtic people of the north used to believe that during the fall season their year began. And actually for the Celtics, their New Year's was November 1st. October 31st was the final day of the year for the Celtic people of the North. And that day was called the Day of Samhain. And this individual, well, Iyadu Billah, was supposed to be the, 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 their god of, of, of the spirits of the dead, of evil again. And according to their belief, the evil spirits would rise to the surface and would terrorize people on that evening. And on that evening, if you did something wrong to a person, they'd come back to get you on that night. So some people would put on a disguise so you couldn't recognize them on October 31st, on that evening, and then they would be safe. Also, they would burn fires. Now the only thing we find left of that is the jack-o'-lantern that they were put inside of their window, window made from the pumpkin. What actually happened in Europe is that the church moved All Saints Day, a day for the saints. They moved it from May 13th to November 1st in 1834 AD. And so what they said was that the 31st night is All Hallows Evening. All Hallows Evening, which in America later became known as Halloween. Halloween. And they depict the forces of evil. What is happening now is that the children put on disguises. They dress as little devils, little witches as goblins, vampires, anything evil, and they go out. And now with the new American way, they do trick or treat. And they come to your house asking for food. Do they do that here in Miami? Trick or treat. They knock on your door in the disguise. And some Muslims, thinking they, they want to be Americans, or well, they want to be Canadians, so they send their little children um, and they're in little disguises. So what are you going to dress them as, a little angel? What are you going to be? How are you going to dress and go out there? And so the reality that we recognize is that number one, this is the day of Samhain. And the Quran tells us, Inna shaitan a little insani aduun mubin, that the devil is an open enemy to humanity. There is no compromise with the devil. So we don't play around and disguise ourselves as little devils, little shayateen. We do not disguise ourselves as this because it is an open enemy to the people of monotheism. Also, there are a number of other aspects. What is happening now, as you may know in America, is that there is a new church coming about which is called the Church of Satan. Well, And in the 60s in San Francisco, the church um, was initiated and right now in the American army, if you are Jewish and you die, they bring you a rabbi. If you're Muslim, they'll bring you an imam. If you're Christian, they'll bring you a priest or a minister. If you're registered as part of the church of Satan, they bring you a priest from the church of Satan. And he is performing these rites and rituals, calling on the devil to accept his initiate. And so this is growing in this society. And they actually did a couple movies. They did this Rosemary's Baby, right? They, they also, uh, The Exorcist, and a number of movies they did to frighten people with evil, that you will be so afraid of evil, and they show the priests as bumbling idiots, falling down over their feet, can't do anything, running away from the devil, and the devil is a businessman in his suits, and, and he, he has the power of lightning and everything. So even though the devil dies in the end, you end up being more afraid of the devil than anything else. That's part of the plot, to brainwash people to be afraid of the shaitan. The reality is, is that the Prophet said um, uh, that, that the, the upper hand is better than the lower hand. Al-yad al-uliya khayrun min al yad sufla That the upper hand is better than the lower hand. What that means is you should be the one who gives and don't beg that we should not be begging. And so to send a Muslim child out to trick or treat is a demeaning, lowering thing. You ask them to beg people for food. Then they're dressed up in a, in, 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 as a way that they're not. Then when the candies and, and things come in the bag, how do you know what it is they actually gave you? 
Is it halal? Most of the candies today are made with gelatin, with glycerin. They're made with pork products. And what is also happening is that there are some evil, wicked-minded people who are attacking children on that night. I don't know about Miami, but in Canada now, they openly say on the television, do not send your children trick-or-treating by themselves. Do not go to in darkened streets. Move as a group. Don't go to a house that you don't know the people on the inside. And there are literally groups of Satanists who are capturing children and they're performing a rite, sacrificing the child on that evening of Samhain, supposedly to get more spiritual power. It's happening right now. And so from so many angles, Muslims should have nothing to do with Halloween. And if your children are in school, go to the teacher. Go to the teacher and make it clear to the teacher we do not involve our children in these ceremonies. Even the Jehovah's Witnesses will go to the teacher and tell them, take my child out of Halloween. They don't even believe in that. Take my child even out of your Christmas. They're not involved in that.